What's up guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to paint your wheels. So I just picked up a rear set of the OEM 19s on the E46 M3, it's 19 by nine and a half uh, ET27 offsets, and I'm running three degrees camper up front. Um, picked up the rear wheels, I'm gonna run it up front, so I'm gonna run a square set. Got them for a really cheap price, but the catch is, it's uh, painted white. So I'm gonna paint it. But I'm also going to paint the rears too because the rears are pretty uh, scratched up. But uh, I'm going to go with a bronze color. So I'm going to show you how to paint the wheels. So this is what I bought from Home Depot. I'm going to go with the metallic dark copper. I think the copper will look great on a black car. Um, go with one can of primer, three cans of paint, some uh, wire cup brushes, and some sandpaper. You can spend more or less depending on how many cans of paint you go through and how many of these you need and if you need a different grit sandpaper but all this cost me just about 50 bucks. Before you get started you want to make sure that you have um, eye protection and lung protection and maybe even ear protection. So I just attached a wire cut brush and I'm going to uh, try to ground, grind down the paint. I'm going to need two hands to do this. You can see some of the, the white starting to come off already. So I'm going to do the whole wheel, little bit by little bit, the whole wheel. So using the wire brush, it got rid of the uh, chipping and flaking uh, paint. I'm not trying to get the wheels perfect because it's going to be on a dedicated track car. I just want to make it look better and also match. So things like this, you can actually um, grind down and smoothen it out, but I'm not going to do that. So next step is putting 800 grit or you can put 600 or 400 depending on um, where it's at with a sanding block and I'm going to start sanding it and for the places where the block can't get to I'm going to remove the block and do it by hand but you guys get the gist just keep sanding it all around and then we're going to step it uh, to a slightly less sandpaper until it gets really smooth to paint but we're going to keep doing this for a while so the white ones are pretty much uh, sanded and prepped and almost ready for primer and the non-painted one as you can see a close-up look the wheels are pretty much scraped up spotty dirty bad condition here's one of the wheels that I already hit with the wire brush that's kind of cool it looks like brushed aluminum then I'm gonna hit it with some uh, 800 and 1000 grit sandpaper before I start to primer and then paint it so I just use acetone to clean the wheels and I put index cards all around it and I'm going to begin to primer it and then paint it. So I have my fan set up to make sure I have ventilation and I'm going to use the primer, really light coat. Do several light coats. So just did the first light coat and I'm gonna do another coat a little bit heavier before I hit it with the third and final coat before painting. So I just did a second medium coat and this is gonna be the third and final coat that I'm gonna go a little bit heavier but be careful not to make it run. See there's areas where the primer didn't get onto so that's the areas I'm gonna focus on. The original color wheels looks great. The ones that have been painted white needs a little bit more work. Walk around the wheel to hit, make sure you hit every angle. So just finished putting on the primer, three coats. One can was just the perfect amount. So I'm gonna give it a few minutes to dry before I paint it. Now I'm ready to do the metallic dark copper paint. I'm gonna do the same thing. Start off with a few light coats before moving heavier and heavier.
After one light coat, the wheels look pretty good. Now I'm gonna do another light to medium coat, being sure, be sure to walk around the wheel to make sure you hit every angle. After four coats of paint, it's pretty much done. I'm not gonna clear, I'm just gonna leave it as is. It's actually, metallic paint's actually pretty shiny. So from about, you know, five to 10 feet away, it looks great, and at least it matches now. But if you go up close, then you can see the blemishes. Um, but again, this is on a um, dedicated track car. Hi. Not um, a show car. So I'm happy with it, and I'm gonna let it dry, and then I'm gonna mount it on the, uh, the car. Say bye. So the wheels are painted and installed. Black and copper actually goes quite well. Hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.